Hi class, today I want to talk about organizational patterns or formats. And organizational formats is how we organize the main points in the body of a speech. So earlier in the quarter we've talked about speech objectives, knowing what your uh, central idea or core message is. And part of this process is to organize the content that is in the body of the speech. So one of the first organizational formats I want to talk about today is topical. And topical is a strategy or a way to organize the main points of a speech when no other um, organizational pattern applies. And so basically you are taking a topic and splitting it into subsections. An example would be um, if your speech was about coffee and you wanted to talk about different coffee drinks. We could talk about Americano, Mocha, Latte, and Cappuccino, and maybe Drip Coffee. That all of that would be part of topical, and topical um, is, a, is a way to break a topic into subcategories. It doesn't matter if we would talk about Mocha first, Americano, or Latte, or Drip Coffee. They're all a subsection of the topical order or topical. Another organizational pattern is called chronological. And this is where we arrange the main points according to a time sequence. And chronological is where we take a topic such as the fashion styles of the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and we talk about it in order of a historical timeline. Chronological can also be used for demonstration speeches when we break something up into first you do step one, step two, and step three. That we have to complete step one before we go on to step two and step three. So chronological is often used for a demonstration speech. And um, so let's go back to the original example. If I was to talk about clothing fashions from the 60s, um, some of the main fashion was bell bottoms, um, maybe um, bright colors, tie-dye. In the 80s, a very popular um, style fashion was really bright neon colors, um, maybe parachute pants, and um, acid wash jeans. Whereas if we go into the 90s, the, the predominant fashion style was um, the grunge look, where we had a lot of flannel um, and um, maybe darker colors to off-play the grunge music scene. So, so far we've talked about topical, chronological. Another organizational format is um, causal. And sometimes I would make the joke that it's a causal relationship, not a casual relationship. So causal is cause and effect. Um, an example could be for an informative speech, you organize the main points according to the cause, and then you talk about the, the impact or the effect. Or you can switch that order and talk about the effect and the cause. An example would be if you were to give a speech about uh, sun exposure. Too much sun exposure may cause skin cancer or skin cancer may be due to too much sun exposure. So it's showing the relationship, cause and effect. Um, this is not typically something you would use for a demonstration speech. Uh, maybe more um, later in the course when we talk about getting ready to give a uh, persuasive speech or more of a report style presentation. The last organizational format I want to talk about today is called spatial. And spatial is where we arrange the main points according to uh, a reference or um, in order. So if you were looking at a map and you want to figure out how to get from point A to point B, points of reference. So if I was to inform you about the, the history of uh, the city of Seattle and some of its historical uh, points of reference, I could say, okay, so first of all, we're going to um, go to the Seattle Space Needle. And from there, we'll and then from the um, Music Experience Project, we want to go down to uh, Pike Place Market and buy lunch. So those are all points of reference and how where they are in relationship to each other that, um, again, 
it wouldn't be chronological unless we really looked at the history, which, which one came first, second, and third. So today we've talked about ways to organize the main points of a speech. Typically a speech will have two to three main points. Um, if you were speaking at a really long event, it might even have up to five, but for a college presentation or speech, you're going to have two or three main points. So the first one we talked about today was topical, where you take a topic and you break it into subsections. So if we were going to talk about musical instruments, we could talk about a guitar, drums, and a trumpet, or coffee drinks. Talked about chronological, where you uh, look at a topic, and this is often used for a demonstration speech. It's where we look at a topic and arrange the main points according to a timeline or uh, a sequence of events. This happened first, second, and third. Causal is to show a relationship, cause and effect. One, the cause may have an effect or the effect may be due to the cause. The final one that we talked about today is called spatial, and spatial is where we identify points of reference, and in the example that I used today, we talked about the Space Needle, the Music Experience Project Museum, and then we went over to the, uh, the Pike Place Market for lunch. And so by organizing our main points according to topical, chronological, causal, or spatial, we are helping our listener as we navigate through the body of the speech onward to the conclusion. And so these are four organizational patterns, and your role as a speaker is to select one for the body of the speech. Thank you.